Hello and welcome to the Stanix YouTube channel. My name is Dennis and today I'm here with Ahi. Hey. He's a YouTuber himself and we will look at the 11 most common mistakes made in the one leg tuck front lever. Let's go! First of all, we'll look at the right execution of this exercise. Well done. Mistake number one, the torso not being parallel to the ground. Since this is an isometric exercise, we want to have angle specificity. Meaning, if we aren't in the right angle, we won't train the exercise. This counts for plus minus 30 degrees. Mistake number two, bending your arms. Of course, you can bend your arms if you want in the front lever, but by definition, the front lever is done with straight arms. This mistake leads to a higher activation in the biceps and the arm flexors. M is easier to make when we grab in a false grip. Just like so. Straighten them out. Mistake number three, not depressing your scapulas. So, this mistake lengthens the lever, makes the exercise more difficult, and actually makes it injury prone for some. So, just don't do it. Mistake number four, having your scapulas too retracted or too protracted. When doing the front lever, try to just think about depressing your scapulas and having a very slight retraction. Don't exaggerate the movements, it, otherwise it will feel uncomfortable and you won't be able to activate the right muscles like the latissimus dorsi. Mistake number five, closed hips. The front lever is done in a straight line by definition. Closing your hips will shorten the lever and make the exercise easier to perform. Mistake number six, not having your legs as close to your chest as possible. This isn't really a mistake per se, but not having the legs as close as possible to your chest will make it very hard to assess progress over, over time. Little caveat, if your hip mobility isn't very good, like mine, it could lead to closed hips. See the mistake before. Number seven, gripping too wide. There will be time for variations in the future, but for now, stick to holding it about shoulder width. Mistake number eight, gripping too narrow. Just as before, there will be time for variations in the future, but for now, stick with shoulder width. Mistake number nine, entering position. To preserve the maximum amount of energy, we don't want to enter the front lever from a front lever pull-up. To optimize training generally, we'll look at other two mistakes right here on the high bar. Mistake number 10, for the same reason as before, is not entering from a race. This is a good exercise per se, but I wouldn't use this to enter my front lever holds, just because it makes it more difficult. The last mistake is using a high bar, for the same reason as before. Thank you for your attention. I hope you liked this video. If you did, may consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. You can find Ahim on YouTube and on Instagram. Where exactly? YouTube, Daniel Calisthenics, Instagram, Ahim underline Goeles. And you can find us on Instagram at atstanix underscore or on YouTube right here. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you for watching.